Play-Doh is a non-toxic, non-staining, pliable, putty-like modelling compound used by young children for arts and crafts projects. Play-Doh was originally a wallpaper cleaning putty. In the 1930s, its formula was concocted by Noah McVicker and produced by Cincinnati-based soap manufacturer Qtol Products. However, after the invention of washable vinyl-based wallpaper, the market for wallpaper cleaning putty decreased substantially. Kay Zufall, a nursery school teacher and family member of McVicker, had read an article about using cleaning putty for arts and crafts. After seeing that her students enjoyed using the product in this way, she persuaded McVickers to manufacture it as a child's toy. The product was reworked and marketed to Cincinnati schools in the mid-1950s. The product was almost called Rainbow Modeling Compound, before Zufall and her husband came up with the name Play-Doh. In 1991, Hasbro became Play-Doh's owner, and continues to manufacture the product today through its preschool division. Play-Doh's current manufacturer, Hasbro, has said the compound is primarily a mixture of water, salt and flour, while its 2004 United States patent indicates it is composed of water, a starch-based binder, a retrogradation inhibitor, salt, lubricant, surfactant, preservative, hardener, humectant, fragrance and colour. A petroleum additive gives the compound its smooth feel, and borax prevents mould from developing. Play-Doh contains some wheat and may cause allergic reactions in people who are allergic to wheat gluten. More than 2 billion cans of Play-Doh were sold between 1955 and 2005. To mark Play-Doh's 50th anniversary, Demeter Fragrance Library created a limited edition fragrance inspired by Play-Doh's distinctive odour for, quote, highly creative people who seek a whimsical scent reminiscent of their childhood. In 2003, the Toy Industry Association placed Play-Doh into its Century of Toys list, a roll call of the 100 most memorable and most creative toys of the 20th century. Play-Doh packaging was briefly illustrated with children in the mid-1950s, but replaced by the Play-Doh Pixie, an elf mascot which, in 1960, was superseded by Play-Doh Pete, a smock and beret-wearing cartoon boy. By the year 2000, Play-Doh Pete's beret had been replaced with a baseball cap, and since 2012, the Dodos have been the mascots. <laughs>